Spring 2016 anime lineup came up with so much promise, with new innovating anime that looks so interesting and spectacular like ReZero, Bungyu Stray Dogs, Boku no Pico Academy. What the f is this creepy ass sh but even with so much competition, there was one, just the one that delivered and stayed true to its promise. There is a type of show that doesn't really have a definitive structure or plot, but instead gives viewers a display of various events that it would consider enjoyable towards a certain target audience. A single word to describe this certain kind of anime would be unjustified due to its utter uniqueness and unconventional ways of direction it so chooses to walk. For this reason, I find that the media that falls under this particular category difficult to review. Unfortunately, Tanaka-kun is a listless fuck can be defined as this specific kind of media. Whether or not this media can be successful despite its lack of story and development is up for debate. The only question left to answer would be if the adventures of the high school sloth Tanaka succeeds in this aspect. The story, if I may even call it that, surrounds Tanaka, a lazy, unenthusiastic high school student that does his best to avoid the everyday struggles that life gives us, such as walking, playing sports, drinking milkshakes. The list is endless. It's an endless list. As a result, he is addressed as listless. Listless? Listless. Oh, I fucking hate that name. As the show describes him by many of the people whom Tanaka communicates with, one being Ota. Ota's whole existence is to make Tanaka's life that much more easier by helping him with activities that Tanaka's laziness prohibits him from doing. Their friendship isn't really developed or focused at all for the most part, but the intention was never meant to make such characters with development, but to showcase multiple scenarios in which the characters react. And that's truly what's great about Tanaka. It's such a show that knows itself well enough to do what it wishes to accomplish, and that being to make the viewer amused. However, there are moments when the show completely drifts away from its own personality and tries to form something else but doesn't really ever work. For instance, the best and worst character I would say of the show's introduction defines this abrupt of out of character change that the show struggles with. That character being none other than the idol student Shiraishi. The reason that she is the best character is because she isn't just another mindless trope for being an all-perfect student at everything that she does, but that it is revealed around episode 4 that Shiraishi is more than that, such as being a closet nerd and had struggles with that during her parts of her life. The entirety of the character showed how better the anime could have been if they had just focused more on characters than comedy sketches. Additionally, she is the worst because despite the detailed episode that episode 4 was, the show's entire mood from a light-hearted comedy to more of a detailed and developed episode didn't really fit the mood that I thought the show was aiming at. Don't get me wrong, I completely love character development and backstory that helped me connect with these characters more, but in this case, it felt more like an uneasy balance of the whole show's identity. And this keeps appearing with Shiraishi scenes. I'm not saying that the characters in this show aren't allowed a more defining detail of themselves, but if that's what they were trying to do, why couldn't they just make a brief scene that indicates that, like other characters had, similar to Echisen or Miyano. Luckily, it notices its mistakes and says, you know what? Fuck this lovey-dovey shit. Let's get to more scenes with Tanaka getting mauled by bears. The way that Tanaka is always listless presents itself in its animation and music is completely fitting to the show. It's really a major part of the show that really shines and it supports the mood of relaxing and calm but sometimes a cheerful tone that it chooses to be and it completely nails them all. The color scheme is incredibly bright and light that makes the show get this really easy to watch feel. This is including the show's constant change of animation from a pretty relaxing art to a more 
chibi style that works naturally. Sure, there are some frames that remain still for a long amount of time than they were needed to be, but it didn't really affect my overall enjoyment of the show. The music playlist ranged from soft piano music to whatever this instrument is. And that only added to the exceedingly well executed tranquil atmosphere that they really wanted. And that's really why you watch a show like Tanaka. Tanaka is always listless, is a show that I enjoy to watch. Not so much for the plot or story, but for the relaxing atmosphere it creates and performs effectively. Is it an amazing anime? No, but if you're the type of person who enjoys pointless comedy sketches for the sake of comedy, then by all means, this will be a show that you will most likely enjoy. Shirai-san? Yes. Oh. 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 Oh.